Happy, happy Tuesday. How are you guys doing today? I wanted to come on and do a Facebook Live today. And for many of you out there who haven't seen One Stroke before or would always wish that they knew how to paint. And they always thought it might be too difficult for them. What I'm going to do today is share a few things with you that will show you that it isn't impossible for you. And I have a coupon code. So when I'm showing you the coupon code, hello, Miss Judy. When I'm showing you the code, I want you to know that this is a 20% off. And I just realized that that's backwards. So I'm going to fix it so that um, you will see it. I will see it backwards and you see it forward. <laughs> okay. So hello, hello. I'm going to be painting today. Just wanted to share some fun um, product with you and share with you the code for watching today's live. All right. So the, what you're going to get is 20% off any $50 or more order. Okay. So 20% off um, is a good deal when our prices are already really good. So we've had lots of new people come on, which is exciting. So if you ever dreamed about wanting to learn how to paint, I'm going to show you how easy it is. And today I'm going to take something from a drawing to a painting and show you how simple one stroke painting is. How's that sound? And a few steps that make it easy for you to make that happen. I also have um, the great paints that I'm going to be using. I have specialty paints like Treasure Gold. And these are all made by Folk Art. This is all made by plaid crafts, okay? So we have floating medium, which you'll see me using instead of water. We have, um, let me look at a good bottle here. <laughs> okay, we have multi-surface paint. That's my go-to paint because it paints on all kinds of surfaces. Outdoor, indoor, it's got a sealer in it. It goes on glass, metal, ceramic. So, oh my goodness, look at you guys. Thank you for coming on. So anybody who's new, um, please subscribe and click the bell so you'll know every time I have a live, and I have a live each week usually, I am going to be at the paint company next week in Atlanta. So I thought I'm going to slip this in and maybe, maybe do one Saturday night because I can't do it from um, the paint company as easy as I can do it from at home. Okay. So thumbs up. Thank you. Give me thumbs up. And it tells YouTube that you like what I'm sharing. All right. And I'm going to show you some tricks to the trade and do some painting. I also want you to see a variety. Okay. So this is going to be what I'm painting later in the month today. And it's a mama Scottish cow. This is for a beginner. This is very simple. I'm going to do some Christmas wreath on mine. Um, uh, so that's available. And then I want you to see that I do a lot of stencil work, which does your patterns for you. So it makes it really quick. All right. So I want you to see that I get the watercolor backgrounds. We've got books that you can stack and put teacups on them. So all of these come like I have packets. I have online lessons and the packets have a pattern and stroke practice sheets and everything inside the packets. All right. So here's a different look. Besides the look behind me and my Patreon, we painted that in three sessions three, three hour sessions. So you got to check out Patreon because they stay on there and you can paint, paint, paint with me anytime you want to. Hello. We got some nice people out there. Hello, Susan. The Isle uh, O-N UK. Hello. Hello. I love it when we get people from all over the world coming on. All right. So see, uh, teaching some striping, how you can do different shabby chic, rustic backgrounds, and then how you can put just pretty flowers on there. All right, so doing flowers with one stroke are really easy. So this is a real simple, and anybody can do um, these. And I did this in a stroke study. And it's like just little stem flowers. And as I was teaching them, we just put it all on one canvas. So see how they pop with the black? And so I just want to share with you that I have lots of ways for you to be able to paint with me. Um, you can go right here on YouTube. We have One Stroke Advantage you can join. And you can also join my Patreon. And then I have online Zoom classes. And so we get on there together and we talk and we have a party at the end, a PJ party in December each year. 
and everybody comes on and wears their pajamas and we have a good time. So, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start painting. So I don't, you lose people if you don't start painting <laughs> from Arizona. Hello. You found me live. Yay. All right. So I'm just going to turn the camera down. Um, you don't need to see me. If you see me painting, that's a good thing, right? So I'm going to move some of my things away and move this down so we can see what's going to happen here. All right. So we are going to be upside down just for a minute and I will flip us around. And so what I want you to see is that um, we are going to show you the method of one stroke and how fast it is tonight. Okay. So this is my drawing. I want you to see again, here's the code. Now we're, that should be right for you. Tell me if that's reverse for you because it should be good because you're looking straight down. So I hope it is because I need to make sure my right hand's in the right place. So somebody answer me. <laughs> is it right? So any, you get 20% off my entire website for anything that you spend $50 or, or more is left-handed. Really? Okay. Uh, hello from East Bay area. Flip it. Okay. See, they're really nice to me. They're just flipping me. <laughs> Tell me to flip it. Okay. So I'm going to flip this. So it should look backwards to you guys. All right. Oh, it looks backwards to me. It means it's straight for you. It is reversed. Now it's right. Okay. So 50, 20% uh, off any $50 or more order on onestroke.com. So one strokes the name of my painting technique.com. All right. Hello. Hello. Miss Henrietta, now it's okay, right? Good, good, okay. <laughs> All right, I got a lot of buddies out there that are helping me. So one of the things before I paint, I want you to see is that our tools, our tools, you can get uh, U.S. Farming many moons ago. Oh, thank you, when I was on QVC all the time. Oh, it's for 20 years ago. Holy heck. <laughs> well, thanks, Denise, I'm glad you found me. So my brush basin, my double loader and my palette is the go-to tools. So if you want to be keeping your brushes in good shape, you want to save your paint, I have this double loader and this helps you learn how to double load and double loading is what we do a lot of stroke work. And so I want you to see these vivid rich colors are all folk art multi-surface colors. And so they come in multiple colors couple of hundred different colors that you can go on my website, get the floating medium, get the double loader, get the brushes. And then this clips on the here and you pull this out. This is an old one. So it's got spots on it. So you dampen this, you lay it in here, you put this on there. And then when it clips onto here, it keeps your paint fresh till the next time you need it. All right. Um, you own Amazon Prime, Diane? Yes, I have Amazon Prime. <laughs> and all right, so then you're pulling these out and you can put foam plates in here. You can put your paper towel here. And this is so you can stand at the easel or just organize yourself because this also will pop in here. So you line it up and pop it in. Everything I'm showing you is on the practice strokes on my YouTube channel. And that's free. It's there anytime you want to watch. One stroke advantage costs like starts out $9.95 a month for four lessons. And you always get 20% off when you're a member of there. Okay. Uh, Denise and I have been watching you since my son was two. Wow. Does that mean I'm really old? <laughs> From Ohio. Hey, Becca. And Pittsburgh. It's nice to have you guys on. I appreciate it. All right. So I wanted to show you those tools and two other things before I get going. And that is, where are my brushes? All right. These are the go-to one-stroke brushes. These are a value pack. Now, when you see me painting, these are the 10 brushes I use the most. And so I created scruffy brushes. I have flat brushes and liner brushes. And it's a killer deal because these are less than 20. And then you're going to get 20% off if you spend 50. This is my signature set. This is the nicest brushes I've ever had. And they say one stroke down and you vary. All right. And so this is the 13 most used brushes because I put specialty brushes in here. So I have a round and angle of filbert. 
And we have a rake. Where's the rake? Oh, right there's the rake. So the specialty brushes have my rose on them. They're wrapped. Like they wrap cars. We wrap these. These I created myself. These are scruffies. And these two are a four fan and um, a rake brush for doing fur and Santa beards and all kinds of other fun grass and all. So those are the ones that I want you to see. I live in Kent. All right. All right. Thanks for sharing that with us. Okay. So let me show you what we're going to do. I teach you, um, if you want to learn, I teach you how to draw. And I'm teaching you to draw so that you can't see this has a sheen in it because the paint's shiny. <laughs> All right. Because it's got the sealer. All right. So I teach you to draw your own designs. From the first one, if you go to series one, um, lesson one, you can get the lesson with a video where we do clay pots. And then mostly the four piece series of that is teaching you how to draw different surfaces with containers, with plants in them. And so I did clay pots first. We did um, a watering can. Anyway, go look at them on my site and it's the painting and um, drawing and design classes, drawing and design. So just try one. You'll be really surprised how fun it is. Okay, so what I want to share with you is to take this to this. All right, so I have art paper and I want you to say um, what I did the other day is I just did a clay pot. So I want to show you that. I go through step by step on how to do this right on page. I mean, right here on um, my YouTube channel, you can go see how I drew a bumblebee and drew a parrot. And, but when we get to these lessons, we're doing um, containers. Okay. So you're going to see, here's an oval. Can you see that oval? Now we have different pencils. We have sets of pencils. We have, this is Dollar Tree pencils with a white eraser, eraser. And then what I do, and see, I lost the eraser. Okay. All right. So we're just going to, I've got white erasers that are all on my site that we uh, can use this for. Okay. Now see this curve here. This is the same curve that you're going to get down here. All right. And I teach you to do clear glass bottles, how to put plants into those. So look, we're going to come here and we're going to come down and come across. Now, what I want you to see is right in here, we're going to put some dirt or moss in here. Now, a little bit of what I wanted to share with you on this is we have stumps. All right, we have package stumps in different sizes, and they're online for you to see. Now, these are rolled paper, okay? So if you've never used one before, it's really tight, well, uh, right, tap, hello, tight wrapped paper. All right, so what I want to show you is that I teach you how to learn where to shade. So if we're going to have the shading on this side okay and we're going to come right under here all right and then we're going to shade in here all right and then we come down here and i'm going to shade out here now this will help you know how to take the floating medium and shade in here okay where you would float your colors so see i'm going to take the stump and I'm going to come right around here. You can go up here. Now I used to use my finger, but this is way better. All right. So you want it to shade underneath here. See right under that, ed that edge. I'm going to come right down here. And this will show you where you're going to float. All right. So see it's starting to look like something. Hey, Dean from Alabama, you found me. Thanks. Okay, so look, we're going to take and shade all in here. 
And then I'm going to go in this area. Now, in the first lesson, we do clay pots and we do three of them. And I show you how to take and make sure that each one looks like it's behind the other one. Okay. And you need to teach you all these tools that help you with all the lead and how they determine lead. There's a, one of a, a kneading eraser, but I like the white erasers, which I had. Oh, here. Boop. I just threw it. I found it and threw it, so that doesn't help. <laughs> it's a square eraser. Oh, well. It's a square eraser that's white, and so then you don't get, um, you keep this looking really good, okay, for not messing up your page that you're working on, okay? And then I teach you how we're going to put the flowers in this, all right? And we're going to come here, and I'm going to come right here. Erase that. Okay, so there's a couple of steps that make this nice. Okay, so we're going to paint in just a minute. I'm just trying to give you a touch. This says series one. There's four classes in a series, four lessons. You can take one at a time. And by the way, if you do all 16, you could apply to be certified and go be teaching for me. How's that sound? Uh, about an hour from you. All right. From who you're talking to, I think. Uh, a black background to paint on. Donna, do you prefer black? I like backgrounds that really make it pop. So any kind of dark or light, you know, it just depends on what I'm creating. Today we did beautiful pumpkins and I literally used the white canvas and added a lot to it so that like we stenciled backgrounds that we did all kinds of fun things all right so look now we can come right in here and do a center with daisies all right but so what i wanted to show you is that we can come all around in here and make it shorter on this end because this one's coming closer to us now i want you to see right in here is where the center is going to be all right then i'm going to come right in here and do the zigzag zigzag all right and then you can just little streaks in this when we're doing strokes in this that's exactly how a daisy looks if you look at them they have these little grooves in them all right but then i can show that after we paint this we're going to use we can use our identity pen and we can come right around here and do a watercolor effect of just color. And then I take my Identa pen, which is a permanent pen. But what you're going to like about this is you can do the same look on t-shirts and sweatshirts and do your drawing, which I teach you in this class in each lesson. And you have a small end and a large in all right and we have all these in stock and even in colors all right so i just want you to know that's the first step then we take graphite paper white or gray and there's multiple sheets in most of these this has four sheets here's just your drawing pad we got big thick drawing pads and you can get that discount for all of these but what i want you to see besides the pencils the stumps and the different things that you're going to use. I have, um, where did I put it? Oh, right here. This is what we have in the class. We sh I show you how to trace this and then have your pattern for whatever you drew with me. All right. Yep. About an hour from. Oh, okay. All right. So the process, I want you to see that then we make a pattern. Now, what, what my students did is we had a pad that everybody was drawing in. Then they took and made a pattern off of their original. All right. So you can use either tip on here. All right. See, this is a fine tip. All right. 
And I, when I'm doing my pattern, guys, you don't want to just come in here and put all this detail. Look, I want to come out here. And so I don't do all that detail in there. I will paint it. And sometimes I will, I might want that look where I do come in here. Okay. So what we want to make sure is that by the time you get this nice shape on the clay pot. All right. I got to turn this because my hands don't go that way. All right. And then we can come right along here. And what my girls and guys did with my, with our lesson is that they took and made the complete pattern. They folded them and put them in so they didn't lose their patterns and they were organized. They put them in a manila envelope that they taped to the back of each page. So anytime you wanted to paint your whatever you were drawing and painting, you have the pattern ready and you're not messing up this artwork you're taking the pattern and tracing it onto your work. All right. Hello, Miss Lee. So we have these pads are 50 sheets. Now I like even practicing on this paper because you can see your strokes really nice. We also, and you, you were talking about black earlier. I like to also paint so things pop on black. And so that means you would use the white graphite. Okay. And I also, these are called identipins. So when you're looking for that, and these are stumps, all right? And a great idea for storing your patterns. I know because it's right there with the picture that you originally did, all right? So, and then the different pencils, but I, like I told you, I'm kind of hung right now on Dollar Tree mechanical pencils by Bic or whatever. And the, they're two lead, which is kind of nice. I also use chalk so I can lay out my designs when I want to just say, here's a flower, here's a flower. So I'll kind of show you that. Um, but these art pads we also have right here. Okay, so they're black mixed media. And there's 15 sheets, 9 by 12, but this is 184 pound. So they're very smooth and they don't wrinkle. So they're very great for framing. Okay, just letting you know that. Here's another tool that I'll show you as we go along. When people say they want my kiss tool, it looks like a candy kiss. So my students named it a kiss tool. My daughter in the office is going, what the heck? We don't have anything called a kiss tool. Well, this they're really wipe away tools. So there's tips at both ends of this one. And this is a little dot that I do for little minute, beautiful dots inside uh, flowers and all and it's rubber so it's really nice and I use the handle of this too so this is very this is like probably four dollars less or 20 percent all right so I just wanted you to find out those items and so I'm wanting to give you a wealth of guess what you can do <laughs> so if you just came on because we have 20 people on since I last showed this all right this is my website onestroke.com so if you go to from the live today, if you go to my website and spend $50 or more, you're going to get 20% off by putting in this code 92050. All right. So check this out. This is um, special for you because I'm starting to do YouTube lives. And so thank you so much for being on. And what I do during the lives is I might paint this painting on a piece of scrapbooking paper that can be framed, or I might like today I'm teaching you a little something different too. I use sheet protectors and store them and through three ring binder. That's very smart. Okay. So what I'm showing you, and I'm going to get to this point, but this was the drawing that I did, my original. And this time I drew it straight on the canvas. So before I painted this, I made myself a pattern. And then it's okay to paint on here. And then I painted the flowers first. And if you're on Patreon, this whole lesson's there as just part of your membership, okay? And if you pledge $20 a month to be on Patreon, there's multiple lessons that are there all the time for you. And you can just binge on them, okay? So, um, and you're being our patron and you're seeing um, 
all the stuff that we teach you about the painting world of Donna and Mark Dewberry and where we got to where we are today and our things that we kind of failed at and we grew from and things that were successful. And so Mark and I do that with you guys. All right. So um, in there, I actually painted this background real funky with all kinds of different colors. And then when I got through painting my flowers, I went, oh, I'm not happy with that. So I just came in then and repainted the background black. But you get the benefit and the lesson to see both ways. And I had a lot of people say both things. Oh, I like the first one. Oh, I like the black. But just remember, it doesn't have to be black. It can be all treasure gold. And it, we got we got like 14 or more treasure gold colors, water soluble. It can be um, um, dark green, blues, browns. There's all kinds of colors you can make it besides black. And lots of people say, oh, I don't know if I like black until they paint and get these vivid colors. Okay. So, and in the end, I hope I remember to show you the kit I want to show you. Because, uh, by the way, when you go to our site, if you want to try one of the kits and you've never painted, but you want the brushes, the paints, and everything to go with it, I have to tell you, I've got a great Learn to Paint kit. And that kit is. Um, it's the first kit when you go to my site and put in learn to paint beginner kit. Just say beginner painting kit and it'll pop up and you get 20% off of it. So it's a super deal. Go check it out if you're interested and make sure that you watch this from the beginning and check out the tools. Okay. So I just want you to see what happens with the double loader. I put the medium. We use floating medium instead of water. So you have two ounce bottles, but you save more money with eight ounce. We just sold out. So we've been shipping out today four of these bottles, which is a better, better deal um, to get it this way. But four of these for the price of the one until the bottles come back in stock. So look, you're going to split this. OK, and then you're going to go right here. So you dampen your this is a three quarter inch flat brush. I dampened it in water. I went laid on the paper towel to get the water out. And then I'm going to come here, split the brush. And right here, you're not splitting anymore. All right. Now, what this helps you do is it helps you learn how to load. And I control you right there. Because when you're on a foam plate, this is what this is what people are doing. They're going all over here. And then they go, but Donna is muddy. Okay. They get floaty medium and they just have this mud look. All right. So this, I want you to see the difference. When I come, I'm going to wipe that off. I'm going to come right here. I'm going to go back and forth and I want to go fast with pressure because what that does is it works the paint into these bristles. So it stays together when you're stroking. Okay. Then I can dip straight into floating medium and it should feel like butter. Okay. Now, oops, oops. you can sit, you can put your, one of your worksheets that I have and my packets or whatever. You can put that underneath here. Um, on this, this is a tracing paper and it's like vellum. It's very beautiful. All right, so I'm just showing, this is just a couple of little things I do. One, two, three, scrub. See the seashell? Here's a she seashell going this way. Okay. All right, it's two. Let's put this under here so you don't see the shiny. All right, so then what happens? I come right back here. And after I go around here, I stand up, stand up, stand up, and slide to the point. Wiggle, 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 and slide to the point, and just pull the stem right in the middle. All right. So when you're practicing, look, I can even come out here and put some pink. This is pink melon. And then I can come back here, push, and slide. Oops. I need more, more floating medium. This feels like butter, very soft and slick. All right. So with a little bit of color on it. So do you all like that? All right. So this, the three quarter inch flat goes all the way to a two little baby flat. And what you're going to do is the flat brush. We paint chisel flowers. We paint vines. And then you can do one stroke leaves. So these are slider leaves. All right. And I can come in here and do a couple of pink ones here and there. This is pink melon. It's just a yummy color. 
All right, this is using the big brush. I like to use a smaller brush uh, for some of this. But what I want you to see, guys, is nobody out there talking? No. What I want, want you to see is when I started, we were painting tinware in a warehouse with all my friends. And I would say, push, stand up, slide to the tip, and drag that right back through. And we would make the leaf, the stem, and the vein, the vein and the vine all in one stroke. All right. And that's kind of how I came up with my name. Push, stand up, and drag the center back through. And you have leaves. All right. Good morning. Is that? No, good evening. I started saying that. It's not morning. Okay. So... Just let you see, this is a, this, there's 50 sheets. Look how fun that is to just paint on and try it. Okay. All right. So Leslie, we're mesmerized. Okay. Thank you. I was like, why aren't y'all talking? All right. So now I want you to see what this looks like on here. Now here's light paper. I do gingham, all kinds of different paper. This is very dry as an art pad. So when you want, to paint on this, which I mostly do my drawings on here. But if you wanted to paint on this, you got to use a ton of floating medium, but not water because then you get muddy. Okay. So are you, are you learning anything yet? <laughs> so this is slick. This was one of my scrapbooking lines when I used to have scrapbooking paper. Um, but the vivid, bright colors, people say it looks like oils. That's the little two flats, six flats. Um, just little technique to get something really fast and easy, right? So what I want to show you on black is there's a couple of different things. Uh, one that's kind of fun is I'm going to, let's see what I have here. I have, uh, I just want you to see, let's say, let's put family here. All right, or humble, let's be humble, kind, kind and humble, humble and kind. All right, so I'm going to just show you, I've created all kinds of teaching guides, I mean, uh, stencils, and I wanted to share my stencils with you, and these are stencil brushes we're sold out of right now, but they are going to be back in at the end of October. I went viral with YouTube, and I was never expecting anything like that. And so we have been going double time and having lots of people help, but we still are having a hard time keeping up with everything. So I just want you to know that it's not our normal to take longer than um, you normally would have. We're not Amazon, but we are. I would just say that really quick, you've got a stencil there, but let me show you. I'm gonna, I might do some of the little uh, add-ons with gold or whatever underneath before we get started. But I'm going to have a B, not a little B, because I want you to see it really well. I'm going to go and take that off. we got to have water. We're raking this one way because these are synthetic nylon bristles. So we keep an eye watching for those to get back in stock. But what I want to do, so that's the treasure gold. So it's really wonderful. Now, I want to come in here. I hope you're having fun. I'm trying to show you lots of goodies all at one time. All right. Those brushes are amazing. Yes. I just put a three-piece set together, guys, for anybody who wants to try it. Most of stencil brushes are ragged and chippy looking. And these are one, two, three. My favorite is this big mama. It is a number 20, a number 16, and a number 14 is my set I put together. Okay. And I need to go clean this. And you need to do that with Brush Plus. See, we got this great brush plus and keep all your brushes really good. All right. So I hope you got to use it. Uh, Miss Jan, you said you're going to go and use them. How much coffee have you had today? I'm just trying to see how much I can get done in a short amount of time. All right. So don't, don't think I'm a crazy woman. I just like to show you a lot at one time. So now I want you to say, oops, this is going to be goopy. See, never do that. But this is what I'm using this for. You're going to put paint in here. And see, it went really too goopy because you're going to wipe it off after you pick it up, right? So I'm going to take this off. And you can't have water or you can't go back to this. But I'm going to do this anyway like that. 
So I come in here and I get white. So I'm going to come over here and wipe it off. Okay. Then I'm going to go right in here and that's the wing. Okay. Okay. Now this is the step that you do. All right. So there's the wing. Now it doesn't look like much yet, but let me show you what happens. You're going to love my stencils because all my stencils do this for you. All right. So I can come in here with yellow, a little bit daffodil yellow, a little bit of white and pink melon. And I can come right in here. So look what's happening. I'm going to get a little bit of pink in here, which will just give it a little bit of shading, right? Okay. And this is the, the base coat you just did gives you the shape of the bee. All right. Now, what's going to happen is the legs on this are usually black and it just looks really wonderful. But I'm going to show you that we're going to have to do them gray so they show up. Okay. Now, this is what happens. This is dry now. So I'm going to line this back up. So there we are. Let's get it all lined up. Okay, now normally I would do licorice. Oh man, wait a minute. Um, I didn't think to put licorice out here, but we'll do it. So I'm gonna put some black licorice and gray. Okay, there we go. All right, now what's gonna happen because we have, I wasn't thinking we have a black background. So here, we're going to go back into here. All right. So I can come in here with some gray. And we're going to do the legs in here and the antennas with gray. And so they're going to come right in here. And they are going to look perfect. So you won't believe how beautiful, especially if you're using black. Let's lift it and see if we see. See the little legs? All right. But then I'm going to get licorice. And let's come back over here and take it off. All right. So usually I do all this black. The legs also. But we can't do that, right? So tap it off. Now, did you see how fast this happened? Just want you to see. All right. So when you lift it, there we have our bumblebee that quick. All right, so the black went back on, and usually all these legs are black, and then the white's white. All right, so so we have something base. The base that I put on before I start is whether I stencil like um, cherry blossoms or words or whatever. I can also one of the things I always do is as I'm painting, I'm like, oh. I should have thought about doing this before I started that. And so then I paint my whole painting and then I come and add to this. All right. So let me show you if I put this up here so it doesn't look like a glare. It's not going to work. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and start painting. Okay. So let's get a 16 flat. Now this is one of those brushes you have to buy separate because the value pack doesn't have the 16 but the big signature set does. But if I've got a really good 16, that is less than $5, I think. And it's uh, the brush that people use instead of the three quarter. They go, oh, that's too big for me. <laughs> uh, this says those fabulous it creates many times. That's right. This isn't showing it as well because of the black. I wasn't thinking. But anyway. All right. So I want you to see that I'm going to come in here and pick up white and magenta okay white and magenta now i split it here now when you're picking it up i want you to think about something sometimes i want it three-fourths magenta one-fourth white and like i said this is what people have the most problem with so think about that okay then i want you to see i'm going one two three i'm going to come down a little bit more all right, so I'm going to come around and I can do about three petals. And then I'm going to come right back here at where I loaded that. And see, I don't need medium right now. Why do you think maybe? 
I don't mean medium because I put so much paint on here. So it should feel like butter because it's just going smooth. Now look how much paint. Like at most techniques, they never put that much paint. So I'm going to come back here, go back here, work it in. Now we paint wet on wet. I'm sorry, there's a really bad glare on this. So wet on wet means I can then come in here and I want to move this so I don't have streaks like that, okay? Now I think you're too close on here. I'm going to lay it back down. So right in here, there's a line right here and here, which makes a whole rosebud here. And then you're going to come around here. And this is, we did the outer skirt. We're doing a second row here. And that second row came all from those two lines. So let me show you what happens. I'm going to, I keep picking up paint, paint almost, pick up paint almost every stroke, okay? So look. All right. I'm going to do that so y'all can see it better. Okay, so look, I can go right back in here and restroke. And that's the beauty of one stroke. You pick up more paint and you just come in here and put stroke after stroke, right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to come right here and come out. Right here and come out. And we're just taking the edge of this brush and make your rows. All right. So I want you to see that we do make it quick and easy. If you want to have another little bit of color, I picked up yellow. And that's more of a piece rose. So look, I can come right here. A little bit bigger. Need to get a touch of white and flatten it out. I have not needed floating medium, even though I'm on paper, because this is a heavyweight paper and it is smooth and so it's not dragging and dry. Okay. So all I need is a teeny bit of white. So look what happens. I can restroke this a little bit bigger. Let's pick up some white and go back here in your loading area. Now look, I touch, lean the white out and come across, lean the white out, lean the white out. Okay, so now I'm going to, one thing I'm going to do right now because it's making me crazy. I'm going to go ahead and I could put some sparkle in here on the wing. Okay, so it's called Dragonfly glaze all right and you can put it right on top of it and it makes an iridescent wing okay now i can come right in here with the medium gray color which i did these little legs with and i can pull some gray in there before i put the iridescent on there all right I'm just having fun. I'm hoping that you guys are liking what you're seeing. And so I stencil a little bit. I did a few little leaves here. I'm using a smaller brush right now. That brush is not working. All right, so let's use a 12. Okay, so I'm going to come in between the citrus and the sap. I'm going to come here and work it in. All right, so I'm going to even touch a little bit of white because we're in black and it really helps it look better. Okay, so I'm going to come right in here. I'm going to go right onto the rosebud. It gives it a really nice look here. All right, so sometimes I use calyx, but I don't think it needs a calyx. All right, so we're going to come right like this and <clears throat> make our stems so make sure that you subscribe and be and when you ring the bell 
and let you know whenever I'm doing lives. All right. Does that sound good? You can learn whatever we're doing. And let me show you a big leaf. I'm going to come right in here and I can make. This is with a 12. So can you imagine with a larger brush? Okay, so here's a rose leaf. All right, and we pull a stem with the same brush. All right, and thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys coming on. Please share one stroke with all your friends, that when you guys that would really love to learn how to paint. I have a program that teaches you how to draw a program that teaches you how to paint, how to do fabric, how to do glass painting, how to make money doing something that you never thought you could do right from the comfort of your home. And when I had seven little children, let me tell you, I made a lot of money sculpting Santas with salt dough and and teaching myself how to paint. I thought I was painting like everybody else. And when the paint company found me, they said, hey, what is this technique? <laughs> and I thought, is this painting? So now I've got a scruffy brush. Now what I want you to see is the small scruffy does inside flowers, like centers and all. Then I have a medium scruffy. And then in my regular kit of brushes, it has the three quarter. So I make all my sunflowers and all with this. These are all natural hair. And everything else in my brush line is synthetic nylon. So just to let you know, that's the beauty of it. So let's look over here. We got purple and white. We're in our double loader. We're using multi-surface paint. It's acrylic paint. I say that over and over. We're using floating medium, not water. These are the things that makes it easier for you to paint. And it's thick and creamy. So you're going to love what happens here. Okay, so I'm going to come, let me see if I can go sideways here. I'm going to come and pounce purple. This is violet pansy on one edge. Oh, uh, it's like an egg. See that? And like if you cracked it in half and you went to the other side and you picked up white, I got pink, purple, and white. All right, now I want the white up and I'm going to pounce a round area and then I'm going to lay it on its edge. And I'm going to pounce coming down. Now, what happens here? This is just a little bit of wisteria. All right. So it kind of looks like a Florida tornado, not a Texas tornado, where, where we've got a big funnel up here. And then we turn it on its edge and just get a little bit down here. Okay. And so if you over pounce it, see, I can just come in here and add more white. Or I can come in here and add more purple. Okay. So there's like no mistakes. I teach you all kinds of things to fix anything that doesn't work. Uh, love your one stroke style of painting. Well, thank you. All right. So so the beauty of this is we can go all the way down to a two flat. Now, if I come in here with a two flat, that's the little baby. Because I don't love doing uh, small painting on jewelry and stuff. It's not my favorite. I teach people how to nail paint. I don't, it's not my favorite because it's little. All right. But they love that one stroke makes face painting, makes nail painting, makes everything so easy. All right. And Silly Farm even takes all my colors and makes cakes, rainbow cakes out of them so that you can just take your brush back and forth in there and paint great paint on children's faces all right so every level of this never even thought about nail painting oh i'm telling you i have for years i had miniature brushes and i don't have a manufacturer that's doing those right now but you can take any of those little teeny sets i used to have like a 10 piece set of uh miniature brushes and but i'm working on it you never know that's they come back but you take those brushes and you do nail paint and in Europe and Italy, they these ladies make a buku of money because they have such art with nail painting. Okay, can you all see that? My script liner is the only thing I use water with. And it's like an ink pen. So look, it holds so much paint that you can go around and around and around. And 
it works. Is that not cool? All right. And then I come in here. This is kind of like if I want to put something together really quick. I do a demo like this when I'm doing the art show so people can come see what I'm doing. All right. So I want you to learn how to paint and to learn how to paint. You have to have the right tools. And so one of the things I want to share with you is people are always saying like Miss Jan and, and Belva, a couple of my really good students that like to artists that like to really put their stuff up and let us see on our Facebook group. By the way, we have a private Facebook group. So many of you are joining our Facebook group, but you're not answer or you're trying to join, but you're not answering our questions. If you don't answer the questions, we don't know if you're really um, wanting to paint one stroke or if you're just um, scamming us. So we don't let you in. So you have to answer the questions. Okay. So please do that and come join us because you will love our world of painting. All right. So first time, this is awesome. Listen, I want you to know that you can go to my YouTube channel, subscribe and learn so much. But if you come to my photo, my one, excuse me, Donna Dewberry's um, original, Donna Dewberry's original Facebook group. And if you go to that group, you have to answer the questions and we let you on and you will not believe how much we teach you and how you learn where I'm going to be, like whether I'm going to be in Tennessee or Canada or whatever country I'm at and where I will be showing you or you can um, do online workshops with me or whatever. But I want you to see that we have um, a kit we have beginner kits, like I said. Make sure you go check it out. Beginner kits on my site, onestroke.com. And you get 20% off any $50 or more um, purchase. Now, when people do my Facebook Lives and they do, um, yeah, Facebook Lives where we are on Facebook doing it. And we're having harder times because Facebook is messing it up. So you can't really do that as much. But what happens on there is you cannot get the 20% off those sales because those sales are different. Okay. But I want you to show, but this is all on my website. Okay. So there we go. And now let me show you, this is a super kit. This is a bigger kit. This is also on my site and I want to share it with you. There are all kinds of kits there. And so go beginner kit. If you've never painted before, you get just like this one, you're getting all the paints that you need, the brushes, and then a hand painted gift for me is in, in these kind of kits. These are Let's Paint kits. Now, I mean, this has the floating medium. I try to put that in all my kits. You get two ounces of floating medium. This one has 10, let's see, three, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. This has 12 paints like my QVC uh, kits used to be. All right. They have like 12 paint, nine to 12 paints. This one has 12 floating medium treasure gold. This alone is over $5. All right. A set of my brushes. That's the 10 piece brush set. And so you're getting all this plus you're getting a hand painted folder. People even frame these. They love these. North Carolina's watching. And then, and this one is going to teach you, even um, Jan and Belva have recommended this. If you don't understand where to put leaves and how to design, not only are you going to learn all my strokes on these reusable teaching guides, they're, they're UV uh, coated. So you're going to take your paint, you're going to stroke right on here with me, like I'm at home with you. And you're going to do stroke by stroke. It shows you how it's supposed to look and the brushes and that you use. And then you're going to do all of this practice. And then look at the wreath we're going to do right here. There's a wreath for every month. But the variety that you let, this is like go-to kit because you're going to do that whole wreath. You can do it on any kind of surface. And so we have one for January, like winter. Then we have February for Valentine's and for your loved ones, March, spring, like how this was one of the most popular, this one, roses. Then we're going to have daisies. Look at this daisy one. All right. Then we go to June, July. Look at the sunflowers. All right. Then look at the pumpkins. And that's got a lot of treasure gold in it. October, my birthday, November with magnolias. 
and poinsettias, but all the different flowers that you learn in here, every one of them, for instance, this one has all kinds of roses. All right, you have regular roses, you have chippy roses, and you have bows, how to do big bows. All right, and so step by step, you're gonna go through each month. This is a holder to keep everything together. This little folder that I made for you guys in hand painted. And every single one of these give you all the strokes to make all the flowers I'm teaching you. All right. So, and they're actual full size so that you can paint it with me. And this kit with this coupon, you're going to get everything here. All right. And each one of these lessons is on Plaid Crafts YouTube. And if you put Donna Dewberry at Plaid Crafts or Donna Dewberry with Plaid, you will get the full length lesson of every one of these live with me. So when you get this, you pull out the paints that are listed, the brushes that are listed, and you turn on my video and you can paint it right there with me. And you don't have to download it. It's always going to be there for you. So it makes it really nice. I have that kit. Love it. Thank you. I encourage you. I have many different kits, but this one teaches you way in a different way and and that's with the testimony from jan and and belva they couldn't believe how much and that step by step you're going to learn and i encourage you to keep them in the box so that you don't lose the colors that go with each one of these and um there we go so i want to go back and share with you one last time i've got all kinds of stencils and all kinds of tools and everything you need to make one stroke successful for you. All right, and so I'm gonna come on regular basis. I share, share with you mediums and sealers and everything you need on my practice strokes um, that's free right on my YouTube channel. And I have to tell you, going on the YouTube channel and doing the practice strokes, my most watch because you're learning over and over how to use, how to, use what brush makes that what brush makes that and i give you homework to do you do homework anyway this is a great kit thank you jan for endorsing it that makes me really happy jan and some of my other teachers out there all have youtube pages that you can go watch them and listen one stroke at a time you can be an artist one stroke at a time and we're here for you as a family business. We support you and help you and encourage you. And we've got 35,000 wonderful people on our Donna Dewberry's official uh, One Stroke group on Facebook. So come check us out. So if you want to know anything like my YouTube, my uh, Patreon, and any of that stuff, and go to About Donna on my YouTube channel and it will share with you um, all this, the website, the um, YouTube, the Facebook page and our Patreon page. So you can just go check me out. All right. Uh, someone asked what kit that was. This is, did I not say? I probably didn't say. That's crazy. Whoops. This one is, I just dumped my water. This one is, um, it's 18 pieces. It's a wreath of the month. Wreath of the month. month. It's the less paint wreath of the month right on my website. So go check it out. And 20% off that is a super deal. And if you get a chance, go back and watch this if you just came on because I, I taught you a whole bunch of stuff that you can learn with one stroke and you can find there. And if you want to see more of my drawing, I have a couple of lessons that you can get a taste of right here on YouTube for free. I did a bumblebee, big, large bumblebee, and then painted it and a parrot. So go check it out. All right. Thank you for being on with me tonight. I appreciate you guys very much. And uh, come join uh, one stroke with me, guys. All right. See you next time.